Good morning, uh, Mr. President, members. It is my uh, honor today to acknowledge a very, very special organization. In fact, Mr. LeBange, Mr. President, back in 1854, when you and I were mere lads, okay, <laughs> when we were just started, the Hebrew Benevolent Society became the very first charitable organization in the great city of Los Angeles. Almost a hundred years later, they changed their name to the Jewish Family Service Organization that we've all come to know and to love. Today, we are celebrating the 160th year of the first group, the first organization that recognized the importance to give to those or to help those that couldn't help themselves. Could you please join me in giving them the round of applause that they deserve? Now, they do an outstanding job providing services to over 100,000 clients every year, regardless of age, your ethnic uh, makeup, or your ability to pay. And as we go through this severe economic downturn, they didn't turn their back. They didn't run away from the challenge. They hung in there and were able to continue to provide the services that they have been providing for several lifetimes. Uh, just to, to highlight a few of the things that they do, they have domestic violence shelters, they help the homeless, again, they help people of, of different ages. And what I wanted to do was to, and I think I consider myself an honorary member of, of, of this organization because they have allowed me to play a small role in assisting them over the years. They set an example that we would hope that all of our uh, charitable organizations would follow. There are so many lives that have been turned around because of the phenomenal work that they do. Now, I don't know how they take 15 cents and turn it into a dollar, but their organization that knows how to get the most bang for their buck. Now, it is my pleasure to bring uh, uh, to the podium an individual who kind of set the stage for many of us. He was a young assembly person uh, that we never, ever, ever had to worry about waking up in the morning and reading the paper and say, oh, my God. He then was selected to uh, become a judge. And now I'd like to present to you the president of the Jewish Family Service, and that's Terry Friedman. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> Judge Terry Friedman, your honor. Where are you? Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Council President Wesson. Thank you to the City Council. It is my privilege to serve as president of Jewish Family Service of Los Angeles. We are the oldest charity in the city of Los Angeles. And for 160 years, we have been serving the vulnerable in our community, regardless of race, regardless of background, regardless of religion. Whoever needs help, we are there to provide it. With me here today are the JFS family, a couple of our past presidents, Dina Schechter, Larry Rauch. Give him a round. Our Chief Executive Officer, Paul Castro. And many of the board members and volunteers and staff that enable Jewish Family Service to perform its work. At Jewish Family Service, our history really reflects the history and growth of the city of Los Angeles. You've embraced us for 
since 1854, just a few years after California became a state. And what drove Jewish family service then, throughout the 19th century and the 20th century, is still true today. Our mission is to serve all those in need. There's a Hebrew expression, tikkun olam, it means to repair the world. And we take that to heart. It's not our work to simply repair the world of the Jewish community, but to repair the entire world. That is our mission. It has been our mission for 160 years. We provide a range of services to those in need, to victims of domestic violence, to those who are hungry, to older adults, to families. We are there with innovative, integrated services, and we are so appreciative of the partnership that we have with the City of Los Angeles, with this City Council, with the Mayor's Office, and with a whole number of departments with whom we partner to be able to provide our services. So thank you very much for this recognition today. Thank you for partnering with us every day, and we look forward to working with you for at least another 160 years. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Blumenfield. You have a, on the queue. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I wanted to, to join in and, and rise in strong support to celebrate this 160th birthday. A lot of, a lot of friends, folks, uh, haven't, haven't worked with you for 160 years, but it's been a long time that we've worked together on issues, uh, all of you here, and, and whether it's the, the food pantry in the valley and some of the issues we had there, or another aspect of, of JFS that, that people don't realize is that when, when the cuts to the most vulnerable people were, were, had to take place in Sacramento, uh, it was folks from JFS who came up when I was budget chair and worked with me to try to make those cuts have the least impact on the most vulnerable people. And I always knew when, when folks from JFS were coming up to talk about it, there was no other agenda than how do we help the most vulnerable people uh, suffer the least in this crisis. And I always respected that and enjoyed working with, with you on, on those policy issues and, and on all of the great work that you do on a daily, on a daily basis. So um, Takin Alam doesn't even begin to, to start it in terms of the work that you do. You, you really are repairing the world, and, and we're grateful for it, and, and congratulations on 160 years. Thank you, Mr. Bloomfield. Mr. Wesson, as always, thank you. Let's hear it for Jewish Family Services. Give them a big hand. Thank you, Mr. Uh, President. And I must add that you and I look very good to be 160 years old. With that said, I'd like to present this uh, uh, resolution signed by the entire uh, council. If we could all scooch up close and get a good photo, show the world that we do, in fact, love each other. Again, congratulations. Thank you for all that you do for us. 